Okay, to continue with our uh, video update now, um, one or two questions have been posed to us over the, the last uh, couple of days. Um, one of them is, how did we get the vehicle back? Well, unfortunately, because I was found guilty in my absence, even though I was there fully in attendance in the court and willing to enter into the court, um, the court and the Crown being completely in a position of dishonour, um, having found me guilty, we could do nothing other than pay a bill to um, the organisation called Boynton Cross Recovery at Unit 1 Springfield Road, Braintree. Um, however, it was it was quite a significant amount. We had to pay pay for nearly 42 days worth of storage plus the £150 towage. However, um, one of the officers did mention to us that what he thought might be plausible is that because we were only found guilty in absence, as he mentioned, uh, on the 10th, that from the 29th of August seizure date up until the date we were found guilty officially, that only that should be the period we would, would be, sorry, from the 10th of October. Only from that day should we be liable for the storage and for the towing fee. However, it turned out not to be the case uh, and we were forced or stiffed into paying. Um, nobody actually would come clear and say on whose instructions this was, but we know Boynton Cross spoke with um, Essex CID at Stansted and there was an ongoing dialogue back and forward. It's my belief that they basically uh, tried to teach us a lesson by making us pay um, as much as they could and had the right to, because after all they said you were found guilty. So the situation is that the case is now on, on appeal. We paid for the vehicle. Another little point, another question is um, about the significance of the documentation that we submitted to the court. Uh, we submitted quite a substantial pre-trial bundle to John Woolard, and it's my opinion that he probably looked at none of it. On the day we submitted five documents in the m around about uh, noon or 12:30 when we arrived there, and what was mentioned to him in the court by the usher, I think, was that documents had been submitted, but John Woolard refused to accept them on the grounds that they hadn't come from Peter Smith. And Peter Smith, he maintained, was not in the court building. So, what we have to address here is, who, in fact, now am I? Because it's a very relevant question. Because the Crown has found someone guilty who's obviously not me. And it can't be me, because even John, Judge John Woolard says it wasn't me. And I wasn't allowed to, uh, under his terms, enter into his court. So they found somebody guilty, but it certainly wasn't me. Um, the next thing I just want to touch on is we have made a, a complaint against Essex Police for the um, unlawful activity involving the fact that I am not a contracted in UK citizen bound by simple contract, no need to be signed, assumed or asserted by the state uh, that I am in fact uh, um, a contracted in citizen who has a duty or an obligation to take part in the paying off of the national debt. It all comes out of the Bankruptcy Acts and what happened with the Bretton Woods Agreement in 1944 when uh, the world was principally bankrupted. So I have actually made a complaint to Essex Police that not only were they in violation of my declared sovereignty not to be stopped on the highway but also that the Essex Police Constabulary had no moral, legal or social right or any statutory right to seize my home. So this is where we, we go from here. Um, the next point I'd like to make is that what we need to do next or following on from this and it's quite obvious to me, this free man movement, um, or this people's action group, call it what you will, has to become organised and start to come together. 
It's too fragmented. No one's giving anyone any help on anything, uh, uh, as I see it. I have a wealth of information. I have a wealth of material that on the first appearance before any magistrate, let alone a district judge, can stop or temporarily halt the proceedings in its tracks. Uh, to this extent, what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to offer my services under a legal services company, and we're going to call it either re-legal services or free man legal. We will then offer help in the court personally with someone representing you in the court. You can either do it um, with uh, someone like myself present, and I will come in as someone called Mackenzie's friend. Have a look under Wikipedia, or in a Wikipedia reference or a legal dictionary, what the significance of a Mackenzie friend is, and that will explain some of that to you. So I can come in and do that for you. I can help you, and what we would like to do, if possible, is to train up some people. It's quite simple, like anything, once you learn the, the basic dialogue or script and a few, um, a few points, um, you'll become very strong in this, and then regionally we will plant these seeds of uh, free man legal um, representatives who will become, in and of their right, experts in the loophole. They will be able to stop the proceedings and either delay them or then get the court to uh, annul the proceedings, disregard the findings, or give you redress in some other way. That's what we'd look to do, and if anyone can help us and wishes to contact us on that uh, point, if they feel that they have either a, a basic law background or a technical ability and would like to get involved, then we ask you to get in, involved. Just so people know a little bit about who I am, um, it's a longish story, but the basis of it is I did study law at university. I have the right to put LLB after my name, as any law uh, practitioner in the country has the right to. Uh, I'm an ex-serving uh, um, army officer. I was in the Royal Signals for three years. I passed my short service commission, uh, and that was in uh, 1981. So I've worked for some quite large companies. I've been a full-time futures and options trader on, uh, in, the, in, the, um, in the financial services sector, trading contracts on life. Uh, and on the Chicago Board Options Exchange. So uh, I've got quite an experience in the money side and on the legal side, and we have, um, hopefully, if we can work together, some exceptionally potent and powerful legal arguments that can finally begin to create a true British um, legal system and get rid of the present British criminal injustice system. Thank you very much. That's about it for now.